Here uh, I'm going through uh, modeling the scantilever beam in 3D and analyzing it uh, using Abacus. I will open Abacus software. It needs time a little bit so that it can be open. Here, for analyzing it, I'm going to use the va these values of mat of material properties. Uh, let's go through it. I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to choose my work directory. I'm going to make it MS Abacus. Okay. For under C, I have made this folder MS Abacus. Okay. Uh, Okay, part, part, create, part or part manager, part manager, create, 3D, 3D beam, it's, it's going to be 3D deformable solid extrusion, I'm going to give 25 to here. Uh, this 25 is gonna give size of the grid and it's as long as the model is 3d is gonna be solid and for modeling it I'm just extruding the uh, cross section of it of the cantilever volume continue and dismiss I'm gonna choose rectangle I'm gonna give 0 comma 0 Enter and then it's telling me to pick the opposite corner for the rectangle. It will be this point, it will be 0 0.1, comma 0 0.1. Enter escape uh, done. Okay, yeah, it's asking me to give depth. The depth of the cantilever, the cross section is 0 0.1 by 0 0.1, and the depth is 1 meter. It's gonna be one. Okay. I'm going to property material. I'm gonna name it steel. Mechanical elasticity elastic. Size of traffic two point zero seven E plus eleven. Poison ratio 0 0.29. Uh, okay. I'm gonna assign section square uh, solid homogeneous continue still okay. I'm gonna assign the section into this beam done. Yeah, okay, it's done. Then I will go to assembly and click instance 3D beam make it independent. Okay. Then I will go to step clicking on this one, step one, static general, continue. Okay. Okay, that's done. Then I'm going to interaction. I'm going to choose reference point. I'm going to choose reference point here. Clicking on here. Then I will click on coupling. Coupling continue. A I'm going to choose this point, done, then it's asking me to choose not regional surface. I'm going to choose, let me cancel this one, okay, surface, I'm going to choose this surface because this surface needs to be connected to this reference point node, it's the 
node where I'm gonna apply 100 Newton downward. Done. I'm gonna choose structural distributing. Okay. Now we see that the nodes of this surface are going to be linked to that reference point. Okay. Then that's done. I'm going to load. I'm clicking on create boundary conditions. From initial it needs to be assigned. I'm going to name it fix it. Symmetry continue. I'm going to choose this surface. Done. And caster. Okay. For load. Point load, I'm gonna name it point load. Needs to be applied from step one. Concentrate force, continue. I'm gonna choose reference point node. Done. I have to apply the value to y axis. This is x, this y, this z. I'm gonna use y axis negative 100 means downward 100 negative 100 means downward okay now it's done then i'm gonna mesh it i have to choose my part since i made independent i have to choose part and then i'm gonna choose seat part okay then i'm gonna choose assembly then seat part i'm gonna make this one 0 0.05 Apply. Okay. Then I'm gonna click on mesh part instance. Yes. Here. Okay. That's done. And then I have to make job. A uh, creating job. I'm gonna name a beam job. Okay. That's done. Then I'm going to job manager where I can submit the job it's running the analysis is running is it's being done Okay, it's completed. Then I'm gonna click on results to see the results. I'm gonna click on this one. I will choose U for displacement here, and then I'm gonna choose U2 for Y displacement. Here we see the maximum one is 2.75. It's close to the value that we got here. for 3d 2.17 but we if we re, if we make this beam uh, more finer uh, the value will be much more accurate let's go back to mesh we're going to remesh it again so that we will get a much more correct value mesh we are clicking this one. I'm gonna make this one 0 0.04. Apply, delete meshes. Okay, I'm gonna click on mesh part instance. Yes, okay, now okay. Let's get back to the job. Okay, we will submit it again. Okay. Is going to the analysis is going to be repeated again with the new mesh uh, information that you assigned. Okay, completed results. Let's see the displacement you do. 
U2. It's 2.17, 2.172 multiplied 10 to the power negative 5. It's exactly the same value that we yeah the same value that we had uh, found previously and recorded it in the report uh, okay that's good previously we had to find our reference point in the middle of this edge and right now we want uh, we uh, I'll show another way to find the displacement of that node yeah as we click it here yeah I will go to XY I'm going to choose ODB field I'll go to continue a unique node scrolling down U2 okay element nodes edge selection you will select uh, that one done plot okay uh, you're gonna dismiss this one we come to xy data we open it we right click on it edit yeah here it's the uh, full value of the vertical displacement of the cantilever beam 